Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about why coding is considered hard, especially when you're trying to learn PLC, DCS, KDA, and HMI. People have that mindset that PLC programming and DCS and SCADA programming is very difficult. In this video, I would talk about why PLC and SCADA and DCS programming is considered hard and what's the best way to learn PLC, DCS, and SCADA programming. Is it really hard? This video would answer all these questions. Is it really hard to learn PLC, DCS, and SCADA programming? My answer to this question is no, it is not. It requires certain steps to learn, and if you execute that step properly, and we have many videos available how you are gonna be able to learn effectively PLC, DCS, and SCADA, I would be putting few links over here. If you want to watch them, I would highly recommend you please watch it if you want to know the exact process which would help you to learn, and there would be a motivation also for you to move along in PLC, DCS, and SCADA programming learning journey if you want to test whether you are good to learn PLC programming I would suggest you for at least two to three weeks you can give it a start from PLC programming and try to see whether you are good enough at the start when you wanted to do that it would not be easy for you to learn PLC DCS SCADA because there is a lot of fear around people will say it's difficult so is it difficult for you it depends on your mindset it depends on your capability everybody have different capabilities but I would say one thing if you are not good in sh in your school you don't have a good grades you you were not good in your university degree programs your grades were not that good it doesn't mean that you would not be able to perform well in PLC programming DCS programming and SCADA and HMI programming all you need to do is give it a try and see whether you're good enough I have seen many people who were not who were not having very good grades in university and colleges but they proved to be a very excellent programmers there are a few other indicators that are gonna definitely help you to decide whether you would be good in PLC programming PLC DCS and SCADA programming there are a few indicators that would definitely help. If you like puzzle games, for sure, there's a good indication you are gonna definitely love, learn any programming language. So if you love puzzle games, for sure, this is a good indicator that you might be very good in PLC, DCS, and SCADA programming. If you are one of them who actually struggle sitting at one place and you don't want to focus on anything, this is an indicator that you might be you you might struggle with the PLC, DCS, SCADA, and HMI programming or any other programming. If in the school if you don't love mathematics and you don't enjoy solving the problems, this is again one of the indicators you might struggle learning PLCs, DCS, and even SCADA programming. If you struggle with the mathematics in your school or university, there would be a fair chance that you might struggle learning any coding language, including PLCs, DCS, and SCADA. Suggestion I would definitely say right now, like you should start learning PLC, DCS, and SCADA programming. After three or four weeks of learning, you would be able to understand whether you are enjoying learning PLC, DCS, and SCADA. If you enjoy programming PLC, DCS, and SCADA, then for sure, this is the right career for you. You should start looking for the opportunities related to automation. If you're kind of forcing yourself in domain of automation and you don't enjoy the learning process, you don't enjoy coding, PLC, DCS, and SCADA after three or four weeks, my suggestion would be try to choose a field that you love instead of the field that you don't enjoy. Most of the people have believed that learning the programming language itself is enough. But the most and challenging part in, in domain of automation is that you need to be constantly updating with latest skills in automation domain. For sure, learning in automation is kind of very difficult if you don't know from where to start. My suggestion for you, if you are lost in learning curve, then go for the bootcamp or classroom training 
And if in the case you don't have a time to go for the class classroom trainings, then one of the another best way to learn sitting at home is through mentorship program. We do have also our mentorship programs related to POC, DCS and SCADA. So for more details, you, you can contact us on our WhatsApp number. WhatsApp number is provided on the screen as well. Hard work is very important. If you're willing to work hard, this field is for you. If you are motivated to work day and night, for sure, you would be a good automation engineer sooner or later. With that, I would conclude today's video. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.